most kings get their head cut off. People look at you strange saying you change, like you work that hard to stay the same, like you're doing all this for a reason. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the God in me. I see you. I love you. This video right here is I want to talk about energy, entities, and I want to talk about how our connection is to, to nature and how we are constantly recycling ourselves on this planet. Now, I want to speak real quick about our development of our brain, just a little bit of science. Now, we have dimple antennas in the interior and the exterior of our brain. Now, our eyes are X are X as cameras that record everything that we're doing while we're having this earthly experience. And we have a hippocampus that sits in the brain that stores all of our information. Now, the dimple antennas, you know, an antenna that sits on your car, radio, whatever it is. What is the first frequency? Sound. So the sun is giving up information to you every day and your eyes are computing all of the, the stuff that you're doing in, on this planet continuously. Like for instance, let me give you an example how your once your once your eyes computer, you, once your eyes compute an area, or let's take your house for example. You walk into your house, anybody that living in their house for a year or even longer. You live in your house for a year or longer. When you walk first walked in there, your house, your eyes has been computing that whole house and you have been storing that information in your hippocampus not only you have been storing it but your vessel that you inhabit your suit has been storing that so any one of you 98 percent of you that lives in your house over a year can shut all the lights out in your house and you can walk around in there and barely bump into anything you know why it could be pure darkness you know why because your body already computed that information. So your, 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 your body was already being a free thinker for itself. Now we have stopped being a free thinker and allowing our vessels to just do the free thinking force. Reactive, basketball, boxing, look at Floyd Mayweather, look at uh, 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 football, the way we run. We no longer are using this. We're using our, our physical vessel. Now I want to tell you about how we earth constantly recycle ourselves and how our family members are sitting right outside in front of us and that we don't even know that our family members our close friends our people that could not raise to their higher selves are sitting right the fuck outside in front of you every day this is why they disconnected you from nature see listen all you dudes out here in the street right that that ran with this religion this male chauvinistic religion and still to this day running with that male chauvinistic religion you know what most of you fuckers gonna come back as bees male working motherfucking bees y'all gonna be working for the queen bee continuously that's what you're gonna be doing see nature cannot deviate from the laws see you need someone to tell you how to act towards your brother and sister mother earth and mother nature you can't act freely as a god on your own this is why it was so important for our ancestors to teach us to know thyself if you know thyself you know you connected to everything on this planet just like the trees, for example. Look at Avatar when they buried the bodies. What happened? Trees grow, the trees grow up. You understand? And what they say, the tree of life. What did they do in Avatar? They connected their braids to the tree. Why? Because it was speaking to them, telekinesic to the brain, giving up information. They are ancestors. So when I walk past a tree, yes, I do talk to a tree and I touch a tree and I give thanks to that tree. Yes, I do. I even talk to nature. I have no problem with it at all. Everything in nature has intelligence and is more intelligent than us at this particular time and moment as a whole. So, yes, most of you jokers that push this religion, this male chauvinistic, you want to have these clubs and just talk about money and, and exploit the black woman, the, the God of humanity, the way you want to. You're going to come back as worker bees. That's all you're going to do. Now, this is my favorite, though, the tree and the ant. Now, let me tell you about the ant, because this is a lot of you out here, the ants, the ones that just wanted to kill for no damn reason and, and, and just and just and just slice their brothers down, brothers and sisters down for no just beat them down. You have no love and compassion for your brother and sister and you don't even want to care or care to listen to their own, listen to their opinion. You don't care nothing about their feelings, their thoughts and nothing. You're you're the ant. You're the next ant in the next tree. That's exactly what you are. Now, let me tell you what the ant do. 
See, if you if you alkaline is just a fancy word for just keeping your body electric. That's all it is. See, when y'all use the bathroom, people use the bathroom that's non-vegan. You stink. This is why we black people like yo. You stink. You smell like they don't like that smell because you know why? It's unnatural to us. But we ain't supposed to smell like death when we use the bathroom. You feel what I'm saying? So when we use it, when you alkaline your body, you know what the you know living off the earth. You know what the tree acts from you. That the tree acts for acts you for your manure and your urine. If you're eating clean fruits and vegetables, you don't stink. So what happens is you dig a hole next to the tree. You use the bathroom there, and you cover the hole back up. Guess what? Guess what happens next? The ants come and clean the manure, so the tree can eat it. So for you jokers that did dirt out in the street all the time, your job is gonna come back here to clean up shit. That's what your job is. And guess what? All you people that constantly ran your mouth and talk shit and and, and call and cast spells on your brothers and sisters for no reason, for no reason at all. For no reason, you're gonna be the tree. Because guess what? After the after the ant clean up the shit, the tree gotta eat the shit so it can produce fruits and vegetables for the gods that walk this planet. That's all it is. Everything is energy, and energy does not die. It just transforms. When you look at nature, the highest form in nature is what? The bird. And what they tell you and they, they carved in the pyramid, Tahuti. Intelligent. Not talk about no other race either. Because no other race have a direct correlation with this planet. They have one life experience. However, we have multiple life experiences, my people. We are great. We are outcasts. This is why they treat us as such. It's no coincidence that we are the only race at the bottom, but yet we feed the entire planet. Your blood, your genetics, you are infinite light. Now, for all you queens that, uh, no, excuse me, I don't want to say queens, for you sisters. To say, oh man, I got, don't get along with your sister at all. Every time you out in the street somewhere, you got a problem with the sister. You got to talk about how she dressed, how she looked. This the whole nine. You can't see nothing good in a sister that's not good with you that you don't know personally. That you don't know personally. You will see nothing good in her. You know what you're going to do? You're going to come back as a female lion. That's what you're going to do. You're going to come back and you're going to have a whole pride of sisters. All of y'all going to be nice together. Believe me you when I tell you. And all of you sisters that talk about you you selfish. You don't want to have children. You want to go to Jamaica. You want to go to Hawaii. Like, are you serious? You want to go Hawaii right in front of you. You live in, you walk in Hawaii right in front of you. You don't even see it. You know what you're going to do? You're going to come back. You're going to make bees. You're going to be <laughs> you're going to be the one that's making the male bees that got you thinking that you need to be out in the fucking clubs and all this shit, all this, chasing money and, and, and having BMWs and stuff like that instead of lining yourself up for ascension. That's what you're going to do. See, nature recycles itself and we are nature and nature is us. This is why they tell you don't kill foolishly in nature. Don't burn the tree down and tear the trees up. See it in Avatar. I love you, my people. This is my theory. My theory only, in my opinion. You understand? You don't have to accept it. Again, you don't even have to watch my videos. But those who watch my videos, I know my soul is talking to your soul. And believe me, you. let me just say this to you. Every one of those comments, my, those emails, I read, my brothers and sisters. And I want to tell you, like, I truly love y'all, man. Even the ones that send me negative messages to this day. Like, I'm telling you, like, I love you. You ain't no out there. Like, you can send me a negative message today, and I guarantee you, you was walking down the street, and one of these, <clears throat> and one of these, one of these monsters started to bother you. Yo, I, listen, this is why I can't have a queen that's not ready to understand. Like, my life is not giving up just to one queen. My life is giving up to the mother of humanity, period. That's just point blank and simple. And until ev and every black man, every, every, excuse me, not black, every XY should have that same mindset. That same mindset. Point blank and simple. We have been in tyranny far too long and we have been divided far too long. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the God in me. I see you. I love you.